And on the right, you can see how in other fields, like self-driving cars, where we had a, an accident last year, now almost a year ago, and many companies decided to delay their work on autonomous cars. It's sort of a backlash that if you do it appropriately and safe, and you focus on transparency of what you're doing, you know, hopefully we can prevent that. Because again, the advantages are so enormous in terms of cost and quality. We don't want to lose these advantages because there's a backlash, because people say, well, this was so unsafe, we didn't know this, we want to stop this now, dead in its tracks. So we marked like, you know, you need to break some eggs to make an omelet, probably not what you want to hear. And you see on the bottom right how people were where they were hiding what they were doing in a company, doing blood samples, you know, led to pretty bad outcomes and very unsafe practices, and setting that field back many, many years. So we have been focusing on these principles of safety, efficacy, and equity. I developed these a long time ago when I started to, uh, talking to the FDA about nine years ago, and they led to where we are now, which is that they have regulatory implications.